Hello everybody and welcome back to Attingham Park and welcome back to the vlog. Uh, it's just gone the next day and after the drama of yesterday I'm quite exhausted to be honest. Um, obviously at the end of the last vlog I turned the cameras off because Scott had had a big accident in his tractor. Um, so yeah I'm going to go and see him this morning. Um, he's had a sleep overnight and hopefully he's feeling a little bit better. He was a bit shaken up, bless him. Um, but yeah, we'll go and see him and uh, see how he's getting on. What I thought I'd do though, since it's nice and early in the morning, um, quarter past seven, I thought we'd just come down and sort the sheep out first thing. Uh, and then I've got to get up to see Bryn uh, up at Brompton just to see uh, what I've got to do for him today. Um, I'm aware that yeah, the grass is still long and the stuff needs grass needs cutting up there. Um, so we'll have to get up and, and sort that, I think. Uh, but let's get some water into these uh, sheep. So still got plenty in there. And yeah, we'll take this round and yeah, see if we need to top them up with any food. So things that I need to do today, uh, I need to go and obviously uh, do the stuff I need to do for Bryn. What I've also done is I have um, hired a small um, trailer to transport my stuff because I am going to move house today. Um, so we're going to get that done and yeah I've just decided yeah, the rent's paid for but yeah, we may as well start making a move of some of our stuff at least. Um, so by next week we'll be fully moved in. Now, the other thing I need to do is... Um, I was going to go and try and see Jake today. Uh, down at the fishery just to see what he needed doing. Um, I have been in touch with him by email. And he was saying something about clearing a couple of trees for me. For him. Um, and... Yeah, once the trees are cleared, we can keep any wood that, that comes from those trees. Um, and that's the payment, basically. So, uh, yeah, so he's he's been pretty good like that. Um, so we're going to go and do that. But um, I'm quite aware of the weather forecast today it is due to rain at some point um, after lunch. So uh, we've got quite a lot to get done uh, in the meantime. Um, so I think if we put that trailer just there just now and then I'll get the Massey Ferguson and what we'll do is I'll put I'll just put the bale spike on and hopefully I'll be able to get this wool because what we're going to do we're going to go and sell this wool I think and um, we may as well since it is uh, that time of year to sell it pretty tight in here actually, maybe I'll have to get it from this side. Should be able to get it in there. Oh. So shift it round. There we go. Yeah, should be able to scoop into that nicely. And then yeah round and get this into there. So it says yeah three quarters of a three quarters of a just over three quarters of a page of a page of it so should be should earn us a little bit of cash. Money has gone up instantly just because um when I went and helped uh, Scott out um I actually did he, he managed to get hold of a friend uh, to borrow a tractor. The trailer was okay, so the trailer was intact. So we managed to get the fertilizer back in that. And yeah, he let me borrow a Vulture tractor just to get that uh, get that field finished. So he has some money's come through for that, which is, is very good of him. Um, so get that strapped on. And then yeah, well I'll head down to head down to the wool merchants. Now the wool merchants just by the the dealership, so we should be okay with that. And then yeah, I'll have to head up to, to Brent and see him. 
like I said, we'll go and see Scott because uh, yeah, I'm a bit worried about him. As you can see, our bales that we got from Cameron's place are just in the barn here, so they're nicely out of the way. And uh, yeah, better shut this gate. Stop the sheep escaping. Okay. Yeah, I've decided I am going to let that greenhouse sort of just do its own thing and then, yeah, uh, I have chatted to Brent and he's still happy for us to to use his greenhouses and, and take any money we earn from the vegetables there. So uh, he says he never uses them. So, yeah, that's okay. Um, well, let's better slow down because this is the site of that terrible crash. Hopefully there's some... Yeah. Uh, hopefully, yeah, he's uh, he's a bit better this morning. All right. Let's. Uh, I'm just going to stop here. I think. Just turn the engine off. And yeah, we'll nip in and see him and see how he's doing. Ah, oh, hi, Scott. I just thought I'd pop by to see how you're doing. Oh, really great to see you, Chris. Oh, that's no bother. I just thought I'd come and check and see see how you're getting on. Oh, crikey. I'm feeling pretty sore. It's my back and neck. Have you been to see the doctor yet? Oh, I mean, yeah, it was a pretty nasty crash. No. No, not yet. I didn't want to bother them. Oh, it wouldn't be a bother, I don't think, Scott. It was a pretty nasty accident. Anyway, how did it happen? Oh, okay, I will. Uh, well, I was driving back from the field and a dog jumped out of the hedge and in front of me. I swerved and the whole thing tipped over. Blimey, right, okay. Yeah, it sounds like you were pretty lucky then. Yes, I suppose I was. It's funny because I saw a magpie just before it happened. Anyway, the trailer was still fine, but the tractor is a write-off. Oh no, that's a shame, Scott. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, at, at least you're doing okay. Um, yeah, I'd hopefully you get some rest and, yeah, make sure you get to the doctors. I appreciate you helping to finish the field and hope you got the payment. I'm going to have to rest up and hopefully feel a bit better t tomorrow. Ah, right, well, you rest easy then. We'll take care. See you later. Okay, so... Yeah, he's not quite with it yet, I don't think. I can't believe he's not been to the doctors. I hope he does go, anyway. Right. So, I know the wool merchant is open fairly early, so hopefully, yeah, we'll... Uh, We'll be probably knocking on their door, but um, yeah, hopefully we can get in there. And yeah, we'll go and uh, get this wool sold first, I think. And then, yeah, we'll head up to Bryn's place. Oh, that's a nice tractor. And how much they want for that? Right, just turn into here. Fantastic. So, so the wool merchant's just around the corner here, and yeah, we'll just park here, I think. Fantastic. Right, just nip in and see if anyone's about. Okay, so they said just come in, uh, use the side door here and then you should be able to open the roller doors and yeah just put the the crate in the the, the side here so where's the oh there's the button there it is there we go so we'll leave those doors open as well just now and they said just use a forklift truck just around the corner so here it is so we'll jump in here and hopefully I can manoeuvre this okay. Nice. 
these straps off. Hey. There we go, so that's that sold. I'll just get this all shut up for them again. Okay, and shut those doors as well. So that's all that done, and yeah, now we'll just head up to we'll head up to uh Bryn's place and see what he needs to get done. Wonder if we'll see that dog about at all. Um sounds like sounds like it's a bit of a menace. <laughs> um, I shouldn't be laughing really should I there's a nervous laugh more than anything I do yeah really feel for Scott hopefully hopefully that dog turns up and uh, yeah it has an owner mm. let's see right I'm gonna head up the road and yeah we'll see you up at Brins right see you in a sec Fantastic, we're just coming into Brompton Farm then and yeah it looks like the grass has grown a little bit um, but aha oh look at this this must be new, Bryn's new tractor looks like he's got something extra as well I'm going to park over here just now then just out of the way uh, keep ourselves away from the, the light but um, ah so what's he gone for Class 840 Axion, oh right, brilliant, 800 Axion, so yeah, that's, oh, that's good size, so yeah, it's, it's fairly compact, but yeah, still plenty of pull on it, and it looks like he's got, wonder why he's gone for this, so Massey 184, 185, that's the multi-flower as well, isn't it, yep, and a random old sprayer, I wonder what he's doing with that, right, you better go and find out, I guess. So, yeah. Chickens, yeah. wonder, I better go and just quickly see what cows are up to, actually. Let's have a look. We've got the JCB down here. And quickly have a look, see what they need. Okay. Oh, they need cleaning out. Look at all this muck. Oh, they need a good clean out. Right. Maybe do that later. There we go. Right. Let's go and see Brent. We'll go and see what he needs doing today. And, yeah. Even find out a bit more info on those uh, vehicles on the back of that trailer. But, uh, yeah. Interesting. Hi, Brent. Oh hi Chris, thanks for coming in early. We have just had the new tractor delivered and a little project. Oh yeah, I could see the, the wee uh, sprayer and 185 on the trailer there. It's, uh, it's a nice little tractor that. Well, I have arranged for the garage near you to try and convert the old tractor and sprayer into a self-propelled sprayer. Oh, okay, right, yeah, that sounds cool. Uh, yeah, it's a cool project. Yeah, I could maybe see if I can help out the garage with it as well. Yes. If you could unload the trailer while the driver has his brake, and then put the slurry tanker on the back as he is taking it away. Yeah, on, okay, yeah, no problem, I'll do that. Yeah, not a problem. Uh, great. 
Come back when you're done. Okay, right, we'll see you in a bit. Right then, so, better get on it. Um, obviously the driver's having a break, so that's fine. But, um, yeah, we'll need to, yeah, quickly get all this stuff off so he can go on his way, I guess. So, he wants to get that on here, so that should fit once we get everything else off. Um, and I guess, yeah, well, I'll try and uh, see what we can do with getting that to to the dealership later. But um, yeah, we may as well jump in and get this off first. Oh, that's a nice, nice wee tractor, this, isn't it? It's in great condition, considering how old it is. So I'm just going to park this over here just now, I think. Okay. Nice. And then, yeah, we'll jump in this next. Uh, and may as well attach this if we can. There we go. Alright. We'll try and get it off. There we go. This is a nice tractor. Very nice indeed. Loads of monitors, plenty of plenty of gadgets in this one. Excellent. Right, I may as well use this tractor to um, get this slurry, slurry spreader onto the trailer as well. So let's do that, and then this driver can potentially get on his way sooner. There we go. Out here and then get this on. Right, there we go. That is now on. Just reverse it up a little bit further. That should be fine there. And yeah, the driver should be able to get that away nicely. So, what we'll do then, I'll just go in put this out of the way over here just now and um, there we go I'll just put that there just now and we'll go and see Bryn uh, and then the drive can get away right then there we go Bryn that's all done ah great Chris if you could arrange with the garage at some point to get it booked in, they said they might have time to start it this afternoon. Okay, yeah, no, I can do that. Um, yeah, I might be able to drop it off this afternoon anyway. Uh, that's no problem at all. Yeah, I do have to move in though. Um, yeah, I've got a, got a little bit of moving to do. I have hired a box trailer, so we should get that done. Oh, that's good. Now, if you could take the new tractor and mowers and get a cut started on the other grass field. This is going to be baled and wrapped for silage. Yep, no, I'll, I'll do that. I'll get on there that straight away. There is rain due this afternoon, so do as much as you can, and then finish for the day so you can move in. Okay, great. Yeah, no problem. And yeah, if it does rain, I can nip that uh, nip that sprayer down for you as well. Fantastic. Right, we'll see you later, Bren. See you later. Bye. Right then, fantastic. So we'll go and uh, get the new tractor on the go. And I think the way I'm going to do this, I know for instance get both the mowers, but I think what we'll do, we'll get the the Roland Uniwrap out. So I'll have to just move this out of the way. And then I'm going to use the front mower and the baler wrapper at the same time. And then yeah, we can sort of do it all in one pass. I'll just put this in the workshop over here just now, I think. It'll fit. Yeah, it should just fit. There we go. I'll leave that there just now. And then what we can do is then get in here and get the uni wrap. Okay. 
and then then we can go down and get a mower. So grab this front mower here. Nice. go. Right. Let's head down to the field. So I think, yeah, if we can clear maybe half the field today, that would be, that would be on a winner then. And it just, yeah, I'm guessing he probably wants the other half the field cut at some point, but he did just say he wanted uh, silage bales made out of this first cut. So I think what I'll do is I'll go down, we'll do the bottom half of this field and um, so we'll start at the far end and uh, do the first section and then I'll leave this longer thinner section um, for another time and yeah if I've got time I might do this patch as well but uh, yeah look at these carrots Yeah, going okay actually. Yeah, good. That's good. So, what I'll do is I think we'll send the drone up for this one. Um, we'll get the get it all going, and yeah, I think we'll, we'll close that, unfold that, and then we just need to lower that down, turn that on, and then that should be good. And away we go. So like I said, I'll send the drone up and yeah, we'll get as much of this done as we can and we'll see you uh, once, uh, once we come to the end of this first half of the field. Yeah. See you in a little while. part of this field anyway and yeah as you can see we have quite a few uh, quite a few bales so I think 
I'm gonna I'm gonna stop here. It's now quarter to quarter past eleven. And yeah, I think I'm gonna quit now because well, a it's that's the full field done. Or well, what what Bryn was asking to get done. So half the field. Um and let's get that folded up. Turned off. Turn that off as well. So we'll go and take this back to the farm and uh yeah I think we'll leave the bales just now and yeah we'll just see see what the next task is. But I think that's quite a few bales we've got. Have a wee count up later. So give this clean and then yeah, I'll nip in and see Brent. Go and this is good clean down and this as well. Great, it's coming up nicely. So I'll just put the mower back in here. And yeah. I'll put this away in a minute, I think. We better go in and see what he wants doing. Right then. Okay, he's got nothing else for us today, and what I think I'll do is, yeah, well, uh, may as well try and take the the one eight five and the sprayer down to the garage. And then what I'll do is I'll take a wander back up. Uh, we'll pick up the Land Rover, and then I think, yeah, we'll go and s go and see Jake, and we'll go and get that done. Um, what I will do as well, probably, is uh, sort out these cows. Um, but I'll do that, yeah, maybe a bit later. But yeah, they do need to sort out. And then yeah, in the following next few vlogs then I'll actually film me doing some of that because uh, yeah we haven't included that in any of the any of the vlogs yet so right let's get this uh, put away and yeah we'll see it yeah down probably down towards my place um, with the 185 hang on that's the dog Yeah, come here. Yeah, good boy. Good boy. Ah, good. Hey there. Oh, he's friendly at least. Alright. What am I going to do? I suppose I could put him in the cab of the tractor. Let's see if he'll follow me. Come on then. He's a cute dog anyway. But, yeah. Certainly a menace. Didn't seem to have a collar. Obviously a lost lost pup. Right. What I'll do is we'll get him in the cab and we'll drive down to down to the garage and uh, I'll just nip to my house on the way through and yeah, I'll just put him inside the house for now. But yeah, he seems friendly enough though. Yeah. Definitely a friendly dog. Alright. Okay, right, we'll see you down at the garage. Right, there we go. So, I've got the dog in the house. I've got him a bowl of water. And, yeah, he's pretty settled. He's very, very friendly. Uh, he's a lovely dog. He's quite skinny. He's not had enough food, I don't think, in the last uh, little while. I think it's a he, anyway. It could be a she. Uh, but, anyway, I'm going to have to call the RSPCA and just um, find out. Because there's no collar. And, 
yeah I don't really know what to do um it's a lovely dog though and yeah I'll have to sort out moving and everything else a bit later but we'll take the Massey Ferguson down to the garage just now since we're down here and yeah we'll get that dropped off uh, I have sent a message to Jake just to explain the situation here he's like oh okay um, so he said he might chop the trees down but if I could yeah chop any branches off and uh, get wood chips done and things like that um, wood chip any branches and remove the logs that would be fantastic um, and he does he said he has got some equipment that we can use for that so I might do that uh, at another point um, maybe on an, on the next vlog maybe because we are sadly coming to the end of this one um, what I will do is I'll just nip into D&G Auto Repairs just go and see the guys uh, just uh, see if they're all organized for this and yeah we will probably see you next time on the next vlog um, but if you have enjoyed it we'll see you on the next one and yeah take care of yourselves all the best